today's lesson is texture and we're going to make a I'm gonna use my orange Oop. tabby cat so today's gonna to be a fun one it's kind of a simpler one of the lessons but let's go ahead and review Um, in our first lesson, we did the elements of art and we made this cute little booklet that covered everything that we needed for the building blocks of creating our masterpieces. So the first element of art we did was line and we talked about short lines, long lines, thick lines, dashed lines or dotted lines, horizontal lines, vertical lines, jagged lines, curvy lines, random lines, curly lines, and swirly lines. We're going to use those today, most definitely. We also did elements of art um, number two. We did shape. Um, so circles, squares, triangles, rectangles, multi-sided shapes. We did organic shapes versus geometric shapes. And there's another organic shape there. Um, we also talked about how the line is one dimensional and the shape is two dimensional. So then we moved on to form, which was three dimensional. So this is where we actually give some depth to our shape. So in Elements of Art 3, we did a cabin in the woods. Um, and what we did is we added some depth to a re rectangle in order to create our cabin. Um, we also have been using in all of our lessons, um, Element of Art number four, the colors. So do you remember what the primary colors are? Can you name one of them? If you said blue, red, or yellow, you would be correct. Um, those are our three primary colors, and we mix those colors together to make our secondary colors. So when we mixed blue and red together, we made purple. When we mixed blue and yellow together, we made green. And when we mixed yellow and red together, we made orange. We also talked about the difference between warm and cool colors. We also talked about value. Um, I emphasize value uh, just in a technical way of drawing lighter um, than heavier so that you can either not see some of the lines you made very well or they're easy to erase. Um, we're going to use value a little bit when we color our tabby cat. We also talked about space. Um, which we went into detail with for our landscape, our cabin in the woods. And it's the space around our subject, around our object. So we can give the space depth by using perspective or we could do foreground, background, negative space. But today we're going to talk about texture. And specifically for our project today, we're doing a tabby cat. So we're gonna work with fur texture. So kind of like these dash lines, and then we have our little hedgehog here. He's got furry and then we've got curly hair or we've got fish scales. Um, and also we have some nice flowy hair there. So that's what we're gonna work on today, texture. So if you wanna hang on to your Elements of Art book, just put it to the side. You can reference it when you need to. But this is our project for the day, the tabby cat. So this is just one version of the tabby cat that I did. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more to it when we go through the lesson. We're gonna give it more texture than what I gave it. We could give it some more texture. And today your supplies that you need are going to be a sheet of paper, white sheet of paper. You could use colored paper if you wanted to, but you might wanna use a, a more viscous medium. You're going to need some coloring medium, so color pencils, oil pastels, pastels. For our tabby cat, we are going to use orange, yellow, red, pink, and green. I'm using green because I want to make my tabby cat's eyes green and I'm going to make his collar green as well. We're going to make our different shades and of orange and different hues of orange um, by mixing the orange, yellow, and red together. So we can make a red orange or we can make a yellow orange by layering these colors on top of each other. Um, the pink is for his nose and the inside of his ears. So also you should have a pencil. I have a mechanical pencil. You can use, um, I, I'd use an H or an HB if you're using a weighted pencil, or you could use a number two pencil. Uh, I also have a felt tip marker. 
Um, this is for doing the outlines. Um, in the style that I do illustration, I like to emphasize the outline of my subject, and that's what we're going to do. And then you also need an eraser. I have a kneaded eraser, so you can erase any mistakes you're not comfortable with. So I'm going to give you guys a minute just to make sure you have all of your supplies. I'm going to go ahead and take my pencils. Oh, we also have a black colored pencil. You're going to want that too for emphasizing. I'm going to take my colored pencils. I'm going to take my mechanical pencil and I'm going to take my felt tip marker and I'm going to put it in my little pencil holder here so they don't go all over the place. I'm also going to put my eraser over here. So to get started, you're going to want to take your sheet of paper and put it vertically so you want it in portrait mode if you were turning on your camera on your phone you have a choice to do landscape which we used for our cabin in the woods or portrait like we did for our self-portrait so you're going to want it in portrait so we're going to plan our space that we're going to use for our subject we have our sheet of paper and if you took your pencil you put it about halfway down we want our cat's head because we're going to the the focus of our subject is the cat space so we want our head to fill up this space right here so we want it to overlap a little of halfway and kind of go up to the top because we got to fit his ears up here so you're going to take your pencil and you're going to lightly you're going to draw a big circle don't forget to leave room at the top for his ears It doesn't matter if your circle is perfect, if it's a little oddly shaped. See, my, per my circle is not a perfect circle. But there you go. That you should have a circle right there. Okay, so just like we did with our self-portrait, we're going to divide the circle in half vertically. And we're going to divide the circle in half horizontally. So I don't know if you could see my lines, but you should be doing it just as light as I am because these are just our guidelines so we can lay out the face of our kitty cat. So about halfway between that horizontal line we made and the bottom of the kitty's head, you're going to make another light line that's going to go across there. And our nose is going to go right here. So we worked with the circle shape. Now we're going to take a triangle, put it upside down, and we're going to make our kitty's nose. Let's see, you could do just a triangle right there. That's your kitty's nose. And there we have a nose. All right, so next we're going to do the muzzle on our kitty cat. And so that's the, that's the front of his face right here where his cheeks and nose meet his lips. So we're gonna take a short line. We're gonna make a line down from the nose and then we're gonna make this curve shape that's gonna go all the way up and attach to the nose. So see, we went from here, we made a big circle, and we went up to the nose. We're gonna do the same thing again on the other side and make this fairly symmetrical. If it's not perfectly even, that's okay. This is just practice. Mine's not perfectly even, and he's still gonna look cute. So we did a line down from the nose, and then we did this big curve shape curved line that went around and then we did it again on this side. Next we're going to do the chin on our cat and we're just going to take another curved line. We're going to go from one side of the cheek to the other side like that. And then we're going to do it again on the inside because we're going to see his little tiny lips. And we're going to color that pink too. But right now we're not colored. So there, you should have a muzzle on your kitty cat. We used a circle, a triangle, and a few cur one straight line and a few curved lines. And we have a muzzle on our cat there. So we're going to put a little form into it and we're going to make some lines that are going to signify how far the nose goes back to the rest of the face. And we're gonna go from one side of the nose and make a cur curved line, or you can make a straight line that goes to that line where we cut the whole head in half and then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Do you see what I did there? So I took my pencil and I went from one side of the nose up to that halfway mark line and I did it to the other side. Now we're going to do the eyes. So cat eyes, they don't go straight across like some of our eyes do. They kind of 
arc up um, in an almond shape. So what we're going to do is from where we did the muzzle, the nose that goes back to the face, we're going to make a big curved line because we're going to emphasize the eyes. So we want to make them really big. That goes up and over. And then we're going to go from that top point here in the curve and come back down and connect down there where we started. So it's kind of an almond shape or a pumpkin seed or whatever seed or nut size you prefer to associate it with. And then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to go up and over and then we're going to go from that top part, come back down. Now we have two eyes outlined. Isn't that great? And you guys see, again, I'm going to tell you the balance of our piece is we're trying to make it symmetrical. So one side is the same as on the other side. So next we're going to do the pupils on our cat's eyes. And so those are just two little slivers that come down like that. It's kind of like if you take a sunflower seed and turn it sideways. And then we're going to do the eyeballs by adding couple of lines on the outside to show where the color is going to go. So this part on the inside isn't going to be color, it's going to be black, but this side is going to be the color of the cat's eyes that we want. So there we go, we have a cat face. So let's go ahead and do our ears. So we're going to come up here and do two curvy triangles up at the top. So we're going to try to make our ears fill this space up here in the corner because see how we're closer to the top here, we're going to fill this space here. So we're going to do a curved line that goes like that and then come back down like that. And then we're going to make another curved line that goes like that and bring it back down like that. So if your cat's face isn't perfect, that's all right. We're just practicing. You might be doing this for the first time. Even mine's not perfect. We're just having fun and I hope you're having fun. Now that we've done the ears in the face and we've got the outside of the head, I'm gonna go ahead and give my kitty cat a collar. So I'm gonna take two lines and come down from the head. There's one side. We'll do the other side of the collar and we'll come down from the head about the same distance. And then we're gonna make a curved line that's gonna go around and connect those two. We're gonna do the tag on our collar. So we're gonna do a little circle and then we're going to do a big circle. And then my kitty's name is Meow Meow, so I'm going to put an M on there. And then we're going to do the kitty's shoulders and chest. So we're going to go up a little bit where the collar is because we want the, the shoulder to come from behind the collar. So we're going to do a little arched line, curved line, and go like that. Our kitty's a little hefty, so we're going to give him big shoulders. We feed him a lot. He gets lots of food and he cries for food all the time and we keep feeding him. So there, so we have shoulders on our kitty. We have a collar, we have a face, we have eyes, we have ears, we have a head. And now it's time to add some of the decoration or the pattern on our tabby cat. So let's say uh, you don't want to do a tabby cat. If you wanna do a black cat, you don't have to do any lines because you can't see the markings on them. If you wanted to do a tiger cat, you could do different lines. I wanted to do a tabby cat because I really wanted to use these warm colors and um, play with those a little bit and make a bright, happy kitty cat. Um, so we're gonna add the designs and the detail to our cat. So first we're gonna start by doing the inside of the ears. So a cat's ears are shaped like this. So they're, they come around. So you have to show the front and we're going to show the front of the ear by doing a line like that. So if you could imagine this is the front and then it wraps around, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to do some hair. That's the hair on the inside of the ears. I make three little marks. There's some hair on the inside of the ears. We're also, our tabby cat has some stripes that come down on his head. So we're going to do some reference lines that are going to come down into the center come down into the center, and then we're gonna do it again, come down into the center, and come down into the center. And then we're gonna do our stripes on the side of the cheeks, and they're gonna come in and 
they're gonna come in like that because our tabby the stripes are gonna go like that and like I said this guy's a little different than the last one we did because we're gonna have fun with it you can make a different cat every time just by changing the pattern on his face maybe you want to do a tuxedo cat maybe I'll do a tuxedo cat in the next lesson but just like the symmetry we've been working with for the for most of our project we're gonna do the same thing on the other side as we do on this side so those are just reference lines where we're going to put our texture for our cat. Let's also give our cat some whiskers. I don't know if you know this, but cats have whiskers up above their eyes. We're going to do the whiskers and we're going to do the whiskers on his muzzle. We give him a little more whiskers. Whiskers are fun. All right. We also have to do the stripes on his back and shoulders and chest so we're gonna come here with our stripe lines now when we do the texture in this you'll see why we do these lines really light and so then we're going to put a little chest on him so this this area on him is going to be lighter than the rest of his body okay guys so so far we've got a pretty cool drawing of a cat and let's add some texture to our cat. So I'm going to start with the color orange because for the most part, my tabby is going to be orange. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some texture lines. And my texture marks are gonna be like that. So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna make a bunch of these little marks. So first I'm gonna go around my tabby's head all the way around I'm even going to give him some fur on his ears. And you want to do these lines going out because you're trying to mimic the direction that the kitty's hair grows. And then do it again on the other side. All right, I'm going to do it on his body. Okay, and then we're also going to do it on his stripes. So we're going to go across his stripes. Do it on the other side. And we're going to do it on the top of his head. On the other stripe. See how it's coming along here? And we're gonna do the stripes here. Now for these lines, you can be doing it dark, no problem. Because we're, we want these lines to show up. All right, and we're gonna wait. We're gonna use the yellow down there. So I'm also gonna use this pencil, um, this color pencil to color in. We're going to color in the outside of his ear because we're going to paint the inside of his, we're going to color the inside of his ears pink. I'm gonna color that. We're going to color in the inside between our stripes. So we're going to go like this in here. And we're going to go like this right here. And remember, we're holding our pencil sideways like chopsticks so that we can control the pressure. Only hold it like this when you're making lines. So we're coloring. I forgot to do this down here. So we're going to color in there. 
And you can color all the way up to the part where it's lighter, where we're going to make his chest lighter. So you can color all the way up to there. All right, we're going to put away our orange color pencil. We're going to get our yellow color pencil. So all of the parts that we haven't colored in orange on the cat, so not the collar, not the tag, not the muzzle, but this area around here, we're going to color yellow. So don't color in the eyes. You can color the snout. That's what this part is called color around the eyes. Don't color in the eyes yet. Color it in yellow. Get around the muzzle. Now remember, with a color pencil, you can always add to it. It's more difficult to take away. So if you start to color and you want it to be darker, just go over it again. Don't try to make it as dark as you want it in the first pass. So hopefully you're being patient with yourself. Come down here and color down here. And color down here. All right. Right now our tabby is looking pretty yellow. I want to add a little bit more detail to his color. So I'm going to take my red and I'm going to make some red orange. And to make red orange, I'm going to go over some orange that I'm going to do a little bit darker and then I'm going to lightly go over it, oh, lightly go over it with some red. Now this might take a little bit of skill because our red is pretty dark, but you need to lightly come in here and do that. So we're building it up. So hopefully you could do it light. So I'm going to darken the areas where it's orange by just going another pass of the orange. To make it a little bit darker, a little bit more orange. Come in and put some more orange in there. Right around the edges, just going to put a little bit of red in there. Just a little bit of red. See how you could barely see it? doesn't look red, it just looks like I tinted the orange a little bit. All right, I'm going to go ahead and add some more texture to my kitty cat by putting using the yellow and I'm going to put some fur texture around his chest by going like this, but I'm using the yellow pencil because this is going to be lighter than the rest of his chest. I'm going to go back and grab my orange again. And what I'm going to do is coming out from the eyes, so going away from the eyes, kind of like rays coming out of the eyes, is I'm going to do some more fur texture. Now this might be hard to see, 
because I'm doing orange on top of yellow. You see what I did there? You're going to do the same thing around the eyes, but going out again. Like that. See how I did that? It looks like his eyes are the sun. So you're going to do that again around. So coming out. And you're going to keep doing it until you fill up that space. And you see how we've created a pattern. So we're going to do that on the other side. And just keep filling up the space going in that global direction. So there we go. And we could do it also around the face. So just we're showing the direction that the hair is growing. We could do the same thing on the chest. We're still using our orange. So on the chest, the fur comes away from the chest. And then also fur goes in multiple directions on the shoulders. So you can kind of just fill it in as you want right there. And then we fill in this space here as well. So this is kind of like the way we did our grass in our cabin in the woods, how we took the lines we made them in the direction that we wanted the grass to grow and we just filled it up there. All right, so our tabby cat has a lot of texture right now, which is awesome. I'll even put some texture up here on his nose. Fur grows in that direction, kind of like, like that. And then it goes away like that. Okie dokie, so let's grab some other colors. Let's go ahead and grab our pink and we're going to fill in our tabby cat's ears. Like I said, start out light and you can add more pressure to get the intensity of the color you want. I'm holding the paper to hold it still. If you're using uh, crayons, you might not want to do this because you'll get crayon all over your hands. We're going to color in the nose. And hopefully we're paying attention to how we're coloring and we're trying to stay and color neatly. But if we're not, that's okay. We're going to color in his little lip down here. We're going to leave his muzzle and his chin white. And I think we're done with the pink. Next, we're going to grab the color that we wanted to make the eyes. I chose green, so I'm going to make his eyes green and his collar green. So you're going to color in this part of the eye, not the pupil and not the outside, just this part. I don't know about you, but I love coloring. And once you get better at drawing, you can make your own coloring pages which is really exciting. You could do, if you like drawing animals, you can draw animals that you can outline and then color in. Or if you like to draw portraits of people, you could draw portraits of people. I like to draw rainbows, so you can draw a rainbow and then color that in. Next, I'm gonna color in the collar of my tabby cat. I'm going to go ahead and leave his tag white because I do have black, but it won't come out gray on the paper. So I'm just going to leave it white. So there's my collar and my eyes are green. And so far you should have a colorful tabby cat with lots of texture on his face and chest and shoulders and he's got some colorful eyes and a colorful collar he's got pink on the inside of his ears and a cute little pink nose and lip so next what we're going to do is the emphasis on the piece which is where we're going to um we're going to darken in the eyes um we're going to color uh the the inside of the eyelids 
we're going to do some outlining of some of the pencil lines that we have here just to define them. And so for that, you're gonna need your black color pencil. So let's start by darkening in the pupils of the cat's eyes. So when I'm coloring something that's going to be dark, like I'm gonna, I'm gonna press pretty hard with the black because I want black, black. I'm gonna outline the part that I'm going to color first. and then I'm going to fill it in. That helps me stay inside the lines because since I'm doing it so dark, if I make a mistake, it's gonna be pretty noticeable. So I'm gonna do it on the other side. I'm gonna outline it, the part that I'm going to color in, and then I'm going to color it in. Now I'm not using the shading technique that I use for filling big spaces. I'm nice and close so I can get in to some tight detail. So remember that, the way you hold the pencil, affects the way that you work with it. So great, we have the pupils of the eyes. And these little tiny spaces where it's the inside eyelids, we're gonna go ahead and color that in too. So remember, I outline the space that I wanna color in, and then I color it in. So I'm gonna outline the space that I wanna color in, then I'm gonna color in. They're teeny tiny spaces, so I won't even notice. All right, so now we're gonna use our black color pencil to do all of the lines that we're not going to do with our felt marker. So our felt marker, we're going to use just to do the outside line. So the whole outside of your character, but all these lines on the inside, um, we want to add detail and emphasis to. So I'm gonna start at the top. Um, we're gonna start with the inside of the ear. So I'm gonna just go over the lines I already made. And I've got that line there. And then I have the fur on the inside of the ears. We're gonna go there like that. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I went over that line, went like that, and went like that. Next, we're gonna do the outside of the, we're gonna do the whiskers on top of the eyes. So we're just gonna go over our lines like that. We're gonna go over our lines like that. And there's our upper whiskers. They also kind of look like eyebrows, which gives our cat expression. Hi, Yoshika, thank you for watching. We're gonna outline our eyes. So we're gonna go around the eyes like that, and then come back around like that. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We're gonna go around like that, and then come back around like that. We're gonna do our snout. So we're gonna show the line that goes from the eyes to the nose. We're going to re-outline the nose. So here's our upside down triangle that we colored in pink. We're gonna make that line that goes straight down to the top of the lip. And then we're also going to do the cheeks on our muzzle. So we're gonna outline all the way like that. And we're going to do our chin and our cute little lip. So let's do the whiskers too. You don't really need to trace the lines that you made perfectly. Um, you can kind of just freehand the whiskers if you want to, or you can trace the lines that you made perfectly. We're also going to uh, outline our collar. So we're gonna do this, these two vertical lines on the outside and then our nice big curved line right here. Next, we're going to do our tag. So it's a circle and then another circle. And my kitty's name is Meow Meow. So I put an M on there for Meow Meow. All right. So, so far, we're looking great. Are there any other lines that you might want to emphasize? If so, go ahead and use your black colored pencil and make those lines. I'm not going to put the lines on the fur of my kitty cat because I kind of want that texture to be subtle. And subtle means light and not so in your face. So now that I'm done outlining and emphasizing the detail on some of the features of my cat, we're going to finish it up. So the way we're going to finish is we're going to do the outside lines or marks with our felt tip marker. Um, if you're using a Sharpie Sharpie, I recommend that you take another sheet of paper, put it behind your tabby cat so that it soaks up any of the ink that bleeds through. So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy the lines we made for the outside fur of our cat 
we're going to go right next to them. I don't know if you can see right here, but I'm going next to my lines. I'm not going over my lines because I still want you to see the orange. So I'm going next to the lines. And you just go all the way around the outside. So see, it came up there. So now this is the outside. So I got to go back out. I can't keep going in. Copy that line. And then we're going to do all of our lines next to our orange lines because we still want to see the color. Okay, so we're staying on the outside. So we've come up to the we've come up to the ear. So we're not going to keep going around the head. Now we're going to go around the ear. So right next to our lines that we made, we're going to copy those lines. So we can still see the orange. And then we're going to come back around and do the ear. Since we're doing the outside, now we're at the top of the head. So we're going to go next to our lines, not over our lines, but next to them because we still want to see that orange. And we came, so we're not going to go completely around the head. We're going to go out in the ear because we're just doing the outside. All right, now we're out on the outside of the head, so we're going to go around the head. We're going next to our orange lines because we still want to see the orange. And now we're going around the shoulders next to our orange lines so we can still see the orange. Okay, so see how we did that nice little detail? See how the cap pops out of the page now that we did those felt tip lines on the outside? Let's see, we finished our piece. So let's go ahead and make sure you put your name on your page. And my name is... Miss Liberty. And today I made a tabby cat using texture. You guys can see all the texture we put on our tabby cat. Look at all that texture. Does he look furry to you? Does it look like if you brushed him, he'd get fur all over the house? Do you need one of those lint rollers because you have such a furry kitty? All right, guys, so I'm glad you watched with me today. Um, like I said, today's lesson um, stepped all the way back to our Elements of Art 1. Um, we got to use all sorts of lines today um, to make our tabby cat look shabby, sorry, shaggy, and also to make the shapes in our tabby cat's face. We use lots of shapes, right? We use circles, we used ovals, we used triangles. Um, we did a little bit of form when we did our tabby cat snout because what this line signifies is that the nose goes back to the eyes. So if we were to turn our cat sideways, if he was 3D, his nose would stick out. We used my favorite element of design, color. We used mostly warm colors, but to contrast our warm colors. I also used a green, but I think I used kind of a warm green. There's a lot of yellow in this green. Um, we used primary colors, which was our yellow. We used secondary colors, which was our orange. We even made our own, I'm going to tell you guys about this, tertiary colors. I'm not going to cover that in today's lesson, but by making red orange, um, we played with value because what we did is we made a darker orange to show our tabby cat stripes um, than all the rest of the color of our tabby. So these are two different values of the same color. Um, we didn't really play with space because we stuck in, we're stuck in the foreground. We stayed with our subject today, but we did use texture and that was the point of today's lesson was to learn a little bit more about texture. And I hope you had fun today or you learned something today. I hope that you created something today and you entertained yourself um, and you'll be able to um, work from here and do all sorts of awesome things. Again, um, thank you for uh, viewing my video. Uh, my name is Liberty Pearson or Miss Liberty. If you want to see my videos in the future, you can watch them on my Facebook profile 
or you can follow me on YouTube. Please subscribe, YouTube Liberty Pearson. Um, and I'll be uploading these videos with some edits later and possibly uploading videos just on YouTube um, and not on Facebook. But for right now, while we're sheltering in place, I'm going to give you guys something to do because it gives me something to do. Thank you so much for being here. Have a great day.